fitness and wellness expert, naturopath, and adventure enthusiast, Wendy Peck. And my husband, Todd Isburner. He's a fundraising guru, men's mentor, and Bible scholar. And as a couple, we're going to share riveting breakthrough stories from our guests who've experienced the meaning of a changed life. Our hope is that you will be inspired, equipped, and entertained along your own life journey. So lean in, listen well. This could be your biggest breakthrough. Right. Hello and welcome to your biggest breakthrough. Yes. I'm Wendy and hey. Hi, I'm Todd. Yeah. yeah, so good to be with you guys and hoping you're enjoying if you've listened to some of the uh, the previous episodes uh, like we have, uh, hopefully you are really being encouraged and inspired because some of these stories are like blow your mind. <laughs> yeah, our last episode was great. Uh, we had Gay Lenfers on oh, and she's sweet. She, she is sweet. And uh, she talks about how to overcome control freak itis, which um, I don't know about you, but we got a little bit of that in us sometimes. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I love I love her story because she was yeah. kind of a like a corporate titan uh-huh. and she had to have control over things. But then when it uh, you know kind of comes down to our personal lives, just how much control do you really have? Right. And right. she found out, yeah, there are situations that you get into where it's really tough to Yeah, so go. so go back and listen yeah. to that. But we're gonna talk a little bit on that same kind of topic today, a little bit as well, far as not really. Well, okay. Wait a minute. Do I have the wrong <laughs> show notes here? Which episode are we doing anyhow? Wait a minute. No, we, we should funny. just remind people uh, that the whole point of what that we we're don't have doing, a clue what we're that, doing. That too. I think that becomes very <laughs> obvious to folks. But the whole point of what we're hoping to do is just to provide you with the a source of encouragement. And we do that by telling stories and having our guests share their stories, because there are lots of things you might be able to relate to within the context of their story. Every single one of us need encouragement and hope every single day, every Absolutely. moment of every day, mm-hmm. especially today. This is 2020 when we're recording this uh, in, in late November and just after Thanksgiving, and <laughs> it's been a ridiculous ridiculously crazy year where there's been so much hopelessness and despair and fear. Yeah. The only way to overcome that is you just got to hit it right smack dab in the face. And And to quit talking about how crazy it is and how hopeless it is. (laughs) Oh my goodness. Here she goes. Because it's all about She does that all the time. Oh, really? All the time? Most of the time. Okay. So mindset, that's going to be a big part of our show today. Talking about mindset. You want to get right into that? Well, why you not? can't. We're gonna we're gonna share a couple of examples for you <laughs> of things that we're learning. Maybe we'll call them principles for having a breakthrough. And we are in the process, just like you, of learning how this whole thing works, believing that uh, there can be a breakthrough on the other side of the kind of situation that you were going through that we've been going through. Yeah. So, so what have you been going through well, as of late, I, Todd? I want to share that. But let me. Can I just give a, a third example? Real I'm always quickly? like one step ahead. He's like, wait, wait. Can we back it up? Back no, it up. Because I just thought of. <laughs> I just thought of a very cool breakthrough that I don't even know that you're aware of. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. What's that? So this morning, uh, while brushing my teeth, uh, before I brushed my teeth, I had to get the toothpaste out of the drawer. I got the toothpaste out of the drawer and I went, whoa, what? Breakthrough. That's because Wendy is starting to. No, sp- I have always what? squeezed the toothpaste uh, no, to the top. No, yes, no. I have. I don't know about you folks, but if I pull a toothpaste <laughs> thing out and it's all crunched all over the place and it's not just uniformly like rolled up from the bottom, Remember that control really irritating. Freak yeah. Thing? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it just makes common sense to be able to uh-huh. squeeze it from the bottom up. So yeah. I pull it out today, but for a long time, you've been squeezing it all over the place. Oh, I've okay. said nothing. But today. <laughs> okay. Wait, he said a couple of oh, times. Maybe a couple of times. But today I look and I go low. And behold, a miracle. It's a breakthrough for Wendy (laughs) with the toothpaste. too. Hey, and you know what? Let me just talk about something else that happened today. Oh, brother. Okay. So I am in the kitchen cleaning and scrubbing a a pan after breakfast. Yeah. And last night, because last night was breakfast or or, or Thanksgiving. And we had had this discussion about when I walk into the room, how you're like, oh, you scared me. And, and well, you're I'm really always like on, I'm, on edge. I try to be on high alert, but also <laughs> you have to remember my mind is always going. I'm focusing in on something. And then all of a sudden I have somebody appear out of nowhere like yeah. you do. So well, I often. live it here. I me. live here. So all get right. used to it. Okay. So the funny thing is, is I am scrubbing this pan. I'm totally in deep thought. And he comes up right behind me. Like I'm talking, like I can feel the breath <laughs> on the back of my neck. And he, 
how you doing? Yeah, exactly. It was a, how are you doing? And I about <laughs> lost it. And he's like, see, <laughs> you're so jittery funny. too. See, I'm like, well, oh, I yeah. don't come up right behind right. you and do that. You. <laughs> All right. So what does that have to do with any kind of a breakthrough? It means that I had to, <laughs> had a shift in mindset and oh, how I was see. running my morning because you mm, scared the living it, yeah. uh, right. <laughs> thing out of me. But hey, break through the toothpaste. And your breakthrough with what you're going through. Well, right I'm now. in the process of, of experience. He's on the mend. I'm He's on, on the, the mend. mend. We'll say that. Yeah. So uh, 14 days ago today, Yeah. I'm downstairs lifting weights. And see, I problem think number one. I think I'm younger than I actually am. And my body. Because you don't need my weights. Body your body is otherwise. your gym. Okay. okay. <laughs> true. But, but, we'll talk about that in a whole other episode. <laughs> different kinds of exercise. So, so anyway, I don't do a lot of deadlifts. I did a different kind of dead, lead, lead, dead, a little, 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 deadlift. <laughs> Is where you've got the That's why you you've got the barbell bar, and you have weights hooked up on each end of it. And I so I was trying a different one. I put a lot of weight on, but I was only going to do sort of like a half rep on it. So I did a few of those. It was okay. The next morning I woke up, I was fine. And then I got on the rowing machine, and and I had to turn around to grab something. Whoa! What was that? And that was the beginning of um, me starting to be on the mend for breakthrough because I threw my back out. I've got to, yeah. You couldn't walk hardly. No SI joint dislocation or or dysfunction they call it, along with potential <laughs> herniated discs. Too. Yes, dysfunction junction in my spine. <laughs> so you know what we went through a couple tough. of days of pain, sleepless mm-hmm. nights. In fact. <laughs> One night, was it the first, the second night? I got oh, up. I, I could not. Guy. I could not straighten up, and I had to go to the bathroom. I, probably sharing too much information here, but I sort of I roll. <laughs> I sort of fall out of bed on all fours, and I'm like crawling because I can't stand up. Anytime I try to get up, I go, ah! and I'm thinking, oh, this is not good. Crawl to the bathroom. Hoist my anyhow, horrible, so it was horrible. just not so good. And you you kind of giggle about it because it is a little yeah, now, funny. It's like yeah, but it even hurts to laugh. <laughs> it, oh, it hurt right? a lot to laugh right. and sneezing. Boom! Oh. It felt like my spine exploded. <laughs> yes, but you have come so, a long way in fourteen days. Well, thank you, Wendy. Yes, I think I have You've been... two actually. Although I really thought it was going to take ten days. Uh, but I'm in day 14. I'm <laughs> not 100% yet. We'll talk about that. But yeah, Wendy so, was very helpful. I mean, not only being Nurse Wendy, sort of assisting me and me really taking advantage of that as much as I can. You um, heard it, taking advantage. But she was helping with mindset too. Let's yeah. talk a little bit about that. So mindset is is one of those things that can make or break us, really. I mean, it can really propel us through a situation or keep us stuck in it. And um, I, I brought out this here, and I'm going to show you those of you that are watching, but I'll share with you those of you that are listening. So I did a Strength Finders um, little test a while back, and I mean, a while back, like 2007. So hopefully they're still the same, but they apply and they work really well with what I do for a living. But the top five strengths, if you can see them, are positivity, futuristic, belief, activator, and empathy. So that went really well for Todd to take advantage of. Um, I needed because that because I, I don't have that. He doesn't. He's not wired oh, that a way. a little bit of that. And so with mindset, some of us are, we really yeah. are wired that mm-hmm. way. Like, mm-hmm. of course, you're going to push through this. I, I see it for you and I believe it for you. And, yeah. and I'm grateful that I'm wired that way, but not everyone is. And so how do we um, have that mindset? And, you know, there's a there's a quote actually by um, um, Audrey Hepburn. And she says, nothing. What? Is, Wait a minute. Yes. What? Nothing <laughs> is impossible. Okay. The word itself says I'm possible. And of course I go to, we have the mind of Christ or yeah. we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. But I really like that uh, quote as well. Audrey Hepburn got that from the Bible. I, totally. But Hey, it's <laughs> her spin God, on it. That's with God, why, all things are possible. With man, what, it's not possible. Exactly. All right, good. All right. Well, we'll take Audrey today. All right. So that, what, what are you saying? So I'm saying that mindset is the very thing that has to mm. shift in order to propel you to your next level of breakthrough or mm. healing or, you know, whatever you're, you're dealing with in that circumstance. So, or in that situation. And so for, for Todd and his back, it's really been a shift in um, mindset of, of, okay, so I have to slow down. Mm. And he doesn't like to slow down. I mean, I don't know too many people that do, but oh. especially Todd, I mean, it's about having that mindset of, of perseverance. Yeah, right? well, it, true, very mm-hmm. true. But you have to also see that healing is possible. Right. I think for for me and your you helping me see that you know healing is coming. 
Um, having that belief for you. Yeah, exactly. Because mm-hmm. if I just instead sort of curled up in a ball and said, oh my goodness, my back is thrown out. I'll never be good again. It's, well, it'll never heal. And you know how those negative thoughts go through your head. Is this ever going to get fixed? What if it never goes back to normal? Blah, 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 blah. Your head can really play games with you. Right. And if you're curled up in a ball, I mean, you're just going to atrophy even more. So that, that would be the worst true. thing to do. <laughs> so to have a mindset of, um, no, there is healing, mm-hmm. but it it's painful. going to take some work on my part. And that's where the perseverance part comes in. And I'm actually pretty good at that just through, yes, you are. just because of life stages that I've been through and having and the way you're wired, the way I'm wired, I am i I'm like four wheel drive. I would just <laughs> persevere. I will go over it around it or through it until we get to the other side. So that, that works to my advantage while I'm on the mend, having the right mindset and then making a decision to persevere. But it's, it's one thing to say, okay, I'm going to persevere. It's all another thing to actually persevere because that takes work. So what I've been doing is accelerating the, the work part of it. I've been doing stretches faithfully. I've been icing. I've been using heat. Um, I took uh, some Electro- prescribed, uh, I took some prescribed prednisone for yes, seven days. It's kind of mm-hmm. settled things down. Um, I've been feeding him very well to keep the inflammation uh, down. Yeah, very true. Yeah. And that really Green does drinks, help. Yeah. Um, what, what else have I done? Oh, the electromagnetic, electromagnetic uh, ther- mm-hmm. therapy. That's helped um, a lot. And then just a very little bit of uh, of exercise. Stretching. Just mm-hmm. depending on where my back is at. So, it, But it does take effort every day. Much easier just to sit back and just say, all right, come on, let's go. Heal it up. Yeah. But you got to put some effort into <laughs> it. And that's where the, and yeah, yeah, that's and that's where that's, the perseverance comes in. Right, right. Unfortunately, it still doesn't happen just like that. I know because it's it's been Takes 14 patience. days now, Takes not 10. Patience, yeah. And the patience is maybe where, I mean, I'm just saying, maybe where you lack. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> You're lacking in the patience department. How can you possibly say that? <laughs> because you know it's true. <laughs> All right. So it does yeah. take patience. Here, here's what what happened with me. My expectation was set up by the doctor because mm. the doctor said, so, you know, you're, you're going to go through all of this and it'll, it'll take blame you it on the well, doctor. He said, he said like, he said like <laughs> 10 to 14 days. Well, I heard 10. So right. when 10 days came and I'm not all the way there yet, I think, Oh man, I'm going to have to just continue to be patient and persevere while I'm being patient with a good mindset. That says well, you're maybe your this. level of belief wasn't uh, where it should have been. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're brutal. No, Sometimes you're just. But you know what? Brutal. How how often are you in that same space? You're just impatient. You're impatient with the process, yeah. and and again, it starts with the mindset part. Mm-hmm. So if we have the mind of Christ and we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us, then yeah. we can do it. We can overcome. We can persevere. Absolutely. And sometimes it takes that other person to see it for us, like mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. my clients or with the the men that you mentor. Very we, true. Seeing it for you, having that futuristic. Yeah. Um, um, thing and also that accountability and someone that's going to mm. lovingly uh, walk you through it. And so, yeah. literally yeah. for you, yeah. I was sometimes holding you by the oh, arm and you were, it walking hilarious. you through it. <laughs> I so don't like that, no. but I so needed that. And yeah. Wendy was so willing to assist me in any way she could to help me through this. And I, and, and I hope you're 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 hearing that for yourself right now because either you're in need of that and you need to reach out and get help in that area or you're in a position where you can reach out and help somebody else through right. a tough situation right. that you can help shape the mindset give them the the belief the vision uh the positivity that they need help them with the perseverance part of it so they they don't back off on putting in full effort and then uh, just encourage them to be patient and to make certain that there will be another side to all this. There will be a breakthrough. Yeah. And it might be in your own story and what you've yeah. overcome already that you can share with somebody else that's mm-hmm. dealing with the same situation. So kind of like with Todd and his back, um, hopefully him sharing that he's getting better and he's on the mend yeah. will encourage yeah. some of you that might be having some uh, back issues right now. Now, this is the kind of breakthrough that takes um, a lot of our involvement, our engagement, mm-hmm. our effort, just about every breakthrough does. But there are some breakthroughs, Wendy and I are, are learning, uh, that there's nothing you can do to get through it. There's just absolutely, it's beyond you. It is truly an impossible situation. And without God's miraculous intervention, nothing will change. And the beauty is that there are lots and lots of stories around us of God working divine, miraculous interventions to help someone through a breakthrough. Right. right? Like it, you can't explain it. There's no, there's, it's, it's like, it's, it's a God thing period. outside of yeah. what you could yeah. ever do. May I share an example? From oh, please do the Holy Bible. <laughs> please. Uh, this is a great one. And, and y'all, y'all know the story. Did you say y'all? 
Oh my goodness. I he said just y'all, said y'all. I can't believe that. He makes fun of me for saying y'all all the time because I'm from Texas and it yeah, just never went away. Yeah, right. I'm a cowboy. Go, baby. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, oh, I called you baby. I mean, Todd. Oh, I don't like that babe, <laughs> babe business. It's just so trendy. I wonder what's, what's going to replace babe because everybody right now is in it. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Something babe. else is going to replace it. I don't know. Hey, use. <laughs> all right. So here, you know the story. Moses uh, is on the run, basically, from the Egyptians. He's only got about 6 million people behind him. And they run up against the Red Sea, and the Egyptian warriors are in their chariots, and they're coming down on them big time. Well, can you imagine the panic that set in among this six million helpless people who had no way to fight Pharaoh's army? No match whatsoever. But here they are up against the Red Sea in front of them, Pharaoh's army behind them. What in the world are they going to do? And Moses told the people, don't be afraid. I don't think that was his voice. All right. Well, he said, don't be afraid. I, I won't try anyway. to mimic or impersonate. <laughs> he said, but here's what Moses said, just stand still and watch the Lord rescue you today. That just is a stand word. Still. Listen, I, I have to say that is a word for somebody right now. Seriously. Mm. Mm. Just stand still and watch the Lord rescue you today. The Egyptians you see today will never be seen again. Your obstacle, your challenge, your enemy will never be seen again. The Lord himself will fight for you. Just stay calm. I love this part. Then the Lord said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? (laughs) Tell the people to get moving. Pick up your staff and raise your hand over the sea. Divide the water so the Israelites can walk through the middle of the sea on dry ground. Wow. Yeah, hold that up. She's holding up to the, for those of you watching YouTube. Belief. Belief, yes. And that's exactly what happened. It was a God-sized miracle. And their reason for it being the God-sized miracle, listen here, when my glory is displayed through this, all Egypt will see my glory and know that I am the Lord. Wow. The, The ways in which God does his miracles are unknown to us until it actually occurs. But he gets the glory for it. Nobody takes credit for it. Ever. Moses couldn't say, well, you know, we just figured out a way to engineer dividing the waters. It was a total God miracle, and he got the glory for it. However, it did take one thing. It, it took some action. It took, it took the took first him. step. God says, get moving. Right, right. So think of how often he has said, get up. Mm. I mean, that's that was part of my story. That's but the right. get up, yeah. get moving. You have to take that first step, mm. and it doesn't always make sense. And it, it can be a little painful, um, but in their situation, I don't know. I mean, I'd be like, "Yep, I, I'm, I'm all in," because <laughs> well, it beats the alternative. Let's let's just see the well. You're either gonna get, yeah, you're either going to hack the bits by the Egyptian you're, behind you, or you're going to drown, right? Unless God intervenes, and right. you might feel you're in a situation right here today. You've done everything you can. Like, like maybe you've had the right mindset. You've been persevering. You've been very patient, but you're up against something that is seemingly impossible mm-hmm. unless God comes through. And of course, I, I just want to couch all of this in however this breakthrough occurs. When we bring God into it. We talk with God about it. I mean, God already knows, but the very fact that he allows us to come in, invites us to come in and talk with him about this and trust him and and allow him to prove his faithfulness and his power. Uh, why wouldn't God get the glory in that kind of a situation, right? Well, absolutely. Um, and, and if he... Um, it isn't getting the quote unquote glory. It oh, means that we're, oh, that, no, that's not good. Like you're going to somehow to, take credit. Exactly. That's not good. No, no that, it's not. That's going to end up very bad. Exactly. Pride goes before a fall. fall. It falls flat it, on your uh-huh, face. Yeah. Uh-huh. We, we both know that from our own experience. <laughs> Taking For real. Honking horns. Look what I did. In reality, you know, God gave the grace to do pride it. Pride is ugly. Oh, pride is, pride so, is ugly. so ugly. It oh. is. It is. But yeah, mindset and perseverance and patience. That's wow. the kind of breakthrough oftentimes that we can achieve mm-hmm. with putting in that effort using those three principles. And then the other kind of breakthrough is the miraculous is when God just, yeah. just step aside. I want to show you something, but to I take have, the first step. I have to say though, mm-hmm. I believe that Moses had the right mindset. I, 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 I mean, this was a miraculous thing that occurred, but I also believe that God knew he could trust Moses because he, yeah. his mind was set would. on what God wanted and, and he was obedient. He had the faith and he had the vision. Yep. He had the trust. It yep. is very true. He learned that over a long period of time. Yeah. Well, Probably of, while tending sheep. 
for yeah. 80 years in the desert waiting for God. Hiding, running away him. from yeah. what the oh. sin that he did. I mean, think about Wait that. Wait a minute. We're getting That's way off into another thing. story here, another episode. <laughs> All right. Let's just stick with these breakthrough examples. Okay. Okay. All right. So there you have it for today. Hope that you will be encouraged in whatever it is that you're going through or that you will be used by the Lord to encourage somebody else in what they're going through. Everybody can experience a breakthrough. There's no reason why you can't. We just need to be very, um, very focused on how this can occur right. and trusting God in all of it. And I'm just going to interject here because uh, I do that a lot. Go. Left turn. No, this actually, no. No. Okay, that wait. we have breakthroughs all the time, every ah, day. Yeah. And sometimes I think, we're expecting. Mm. And while this is called your biggest breakthrough, yes, that we love these big breakthrough stories, but every day we're having breakthroughs. It's almost like every mm. day, see the miraculous, mm. like the clean water that we can drink or the, or the, the air that we breathe or the, you know, just all the miraculous things, um, the birth of a baby. I mean, sometimes we take the, the small breakthroughs for granted and those small breakthroughs can get you to your biggest breakthrough. Take them. Yeah, I would like to. <laughs> I'd like to ponder that for a moment. Would you? I'm, okay. <laughs> I'm doing my best to just really absorb that. No, you're absolutely right. I think that what you're saying is just stay expectant, right, and be aware, and then be grateful absolutely. for even the smallest of breakthroughs. Whether it's a somebody who squeezes the toothpaste from the <laughs> wrong direction or the right direction, <laughs> to to a back that's healed, to a red sea that is parted in half. That's right. Absolutely. Amen. All right. I love so it. that's going to wrap it up for today. Mm -hmm. But next episode, we want oh, to talk about that. You do not want to miss yeah. this. I mean, this is this guy is this guy is mm, so awesome. You're going to give his name? Um, no, 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 because okay. I want you guys to tune in. Mm. But this guy was was highly involved with with the mafia. Um, now, listen, we can say his name. Um, actually, what we he says his name. He was in the witness protection program. It's true. all cool now. It's okay. So he's fine with his name being out there. Yeah. So we, we will share that when you tune into that episode. But it's so great because God is, he's, he, he's he's a transformer. is, he is, he transforms yeah. and he is just always ready when, when we are, when we have that willing heart. And um, anyway, you're going to want to listen to that story. So anyway, thanks if for tuning in Nothing else, just to, just to be what? entertained by his accent. Oh, for real, because he's from Brooklyn. He's from Brooklyn. And I can't, I can't do the accent, but man, it is the real deal. <laughs> you will love it. So and fun. he is, he is just this, this older guy. Uh, well, I shouldn't say older. older. I mean, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's been around for a little while. He's experienced life. He's but mature. Man, he loves, he loves Jesus. He's like a Jesus freak. Uh, a former mafia criminal is a Jesus freak. You will be so inspired by story. Yeah, I'm gonna you totally will. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're so funny, Todd. Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, thank you for being patient with us as we stumble along today, but uh, we do hope that you're encouraged and that you're inspired and, and maybe a little entertained uh, today, but you know, we all have a choice in, in how the day goes as far as how we think about the day and having that mindset is, is really key. So I encourage you uh, to really um, sharpen your mindset skills and um, and remember that you do have the mind of Christ. And so whenever those negative things come your way or or just that those thoughts that pull you down, flip the sw switch and flip the script and uh, and change your mindset around it. But we appreciate you so much. And uh, we look forward to catching you on the next episode of Your Biggest Breakthrough. Make sure you uh, go in and leave a rating and a review and hop on over to yourbiggestbreakthrough.com. Uh, we have a, um, a starter kit if you're looking for your biggest breakthrough. You can kind of walk through it, and uh, it's a PDF, and we'll we'll um, walk you through that. So, all, all right. right, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. He's like see done. You next time. Okay, see ya. Well, that's a wrap for today's show. We hope you enjoyed it. As always, we love spending time with you right here on Your Biggest Breakthrough Podcast. We look forward to seeing you on the next episode. But until then, just head on over to yourbiggestbreakthrough.com where you'll find some free resources and information and a place where you can comment and we would love to dialogue with you there. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time.